Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and today we're taking a look at the single player games coming up in the next year or two that you will definitely want to check out. I've made sure to post a full blown video guide in the description down below, by the way. So if you're short on time, you can just go ahead and look at the description and skip ahead to the bit of the video you seek and find out about the game that you really want to know about. Want to know about the PS4 exclusive single player games? Well, go ahead and skip ahead. How about those PC only single player games? Well, I've got those down there too. There's so much. Check out the description. But guys, here we go. So finally, The Last Guardian is coming out this fall, October 25th, 2016. As long as we don't see another delay. I don't think that will be happening. This game has been delayed so many times. You'll be playing as a young boy who must survive with his gigantic feathered friend. This is a PS4 exclusive, by the way, and highly, highly anticipated. So it should be worth the wait. Hopefully the hype doesn't kill it, though. That seems to be a common trend these days. Thankfully, I don't feel like it has been overhyped. I think they've kept it under wraps enough to where we couldn't talk about it too much. But here are some clips from the game, and seek that description below if you want to skip ahead to the next game. So Dishonored 2 is landing on PC, Xbox One, and PS4 on November 11th and will continue the story of Emily and Carvo, who are now both playable this time and a little bit older. They'll each get their own powers and gadgets, by the way, and let's just say this one looks extremely promising. Mark November 11th on your calendars for sure. Now, Arcane Studios is also working on Prey 2, and this is how they describe Prey 2. You'll be playing as Morgan Yu, a human aboard a space station with numerous hostile aliens. Now to survive, the player must collect and use weapons and resources aboard the station to fend off and defeat the aliens. Now what's really cool about this station is that it's going to be completely continuous and it's not going to have separate levels or missions. So you will be returning to areas that have been previously explored. They Got to be careful with that. It could be kind of repetitive if they don't do it right, but I think they will do it right knowing Arcane Studios. You'll also be moving in zero gravity as well to find shortcuts throughout the game world. Now, this is going to be targeting a 2017 release date, and since it is Arcane Studios, I have high hopes for this one. Now, Days Gone, we'll be seeing players playing as Starkiller. Wait a second, I mean Starkiller playing a hillbilly biker dude surviving waves of zombies. Now, this game looks awesome. These ain't your normal zombies either, by the way. So, if you don't like zombies, just hold on a second. Think Brad Pitt versus the mosh pit of fast-moving zombie hordes from World War Z. That's more of the line we're talking about here. We're not talking about slow, lumbering, moving zombies at all. It's a PS4 exclusive though, so if you do not have a PS4, you may either want to get a job or sell drugs or rob a bank. Do what you have to, because this game looks pretty damn sick. In all seriousness though, this one looks like it's going to be a good deal of fun. I know that's another zombie game, but I'm really liking how it really does go after that World War Z feel. I feel like those zombies in World War Z were freaking badass how they portrayed them. Uh, so, look forward to that one. It has no release date that's to be announced. So, stay tuned here to Open World Games for more news about that. And yes, it is an open world game. So, a lot of you are probably noticing a lot of these games are PS4 exclusives. What about Xbox One? What about PC? Well, do not worry, guys. Here's a cool looking Xbox One exclusive for you guys. It's called ReCore, and it's from the guys that brought us Metroid Prime, and it appears to play in the same style. It has that older feel to the video game design, which I think a lot of us will really appreciate big time. Now, ReCore will be an Xbox One exclusive, of course, but it will also be coming to the PC and will be landing on September 13th. And you get your own robot dog companion. How much more can you ask for? But that's not the only Xbox One exclusive, as we will also be getting Dead Rising 4, which will take us back to the original mall 
we all know and love from the original, but with quite the expansion to the area. Expect single player and co-op. These games are always a good time, especially with friends, but yes, they can be experienced completely offline. It'll release just ahead of Christmas on December 6th. And God of War is back. This time Kratos is living life as a simple man under the Norse gods while raising his son. You'll notice the camera has been moved down to accommodate a free moving camera system this time, which is really nice. And Kratos is now using, what's this, an axe? What has happened here? How things have changed. I cannot wait to see the new systems in play. There's supposedly some brand new groundbreaking progression systems for uh, Kratos that will make every experience different. So that's pretty exciting. God of War 4 has no set release date, but looks to be targeted for sometime in 2017. So what's Microsoft going to do to counter Sony this year? Well, we've talked a little bit about ReCore and Dead Rising 4, but they do have another one up their sleeve. It is called Gears of War 4. Although this will have multiplayer elements big time and co-op, I have always found Gears of War games to be pretty solid single player experiences as well. So I think it's going to be a fantastic addition if you are really into hardcore single player experiences. Plus, we get to see Marcus and his son in action Wait a second, I'm noticing a trend. God of War and Gears of War both have father and son and the number four behind them, Illuminati. Strange days indeed. Gears of War 4 will be out October 11th, 2016. Look forward to more news about that one in the future. I think it's going to be one hell of a good time. Next up, we've got some Ubisoft titles that'll be single player centric if you want them to be. And you'll know what I mean by that in just a moment. There's a total of three big ones coming up here that have been confirmed. Yes, Ghost Recon Wildlands and Watch Dogs 2 can be both played offline. And For Honor looks to have quite the beefy single player offering as well. Now, Wildlands and Watch Dogs 2 look like they will offer some solid fun experiences for sure. And, of course, you can play co-op and PvP in both of those as well. With the case of Wildlands, though, AI will be filling in the spot of any players that are not gaming with you. And you can roam around with them in the open world, which should be really cool. I want to see how the AI handles themselves. That's going to be quite the challenge to program. Now, Wildlands will be releasing March 7th, 2017. And Watch Dogs 2 will be landing in 2016 on November 15th. And they will be both very big single player offerings. Same thing with For Honor, which will be squished in between those two, releasing February 14th, 2017. And Sony is hitting hard and consistently with their exclusive lineup. And they continue the trend with Spider-Man The Game from the famed development team Insomniac Studios. These guys brought us Ratchet and & Clank and the Resistance franchises. So I expect nothing less of a stellar game or even franchise coming from them. It'd be nice to see an entire franchise, guys. That's what I'm crossing my fingers for. Spider-Man, the game, is again a PS4 exclusive and has no set release date. Now this game is already out, but it absolutely has to be mentioned. It's Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It is one of the deepest richest single player experiences in 2016 and i highly recommend you checking it out if you are into rpgs exploring a beautifully realized game world that gives you several different play style options throughout the entire experience you'll probably fall in love with this one it's out on xbox one ps4 and pc so everyone can play it unless you are stuck on the n64 poor you and another fantastic multi-platform title coming up is, of course, Mafia 3. This is open world, by the way. I'm extremely excited for this one because it mirrors so many of the awesome design choices from one of my all-time favorite open world games, The Godfather. And Mafia 2 had a great story in the team at Hangar Studios, the guys developing Mafia 3. They really want to continue that trend with big set-piece moments but with a backdrop of an open world with plenty of side activities to do. Now, Mafia 3 releases on October 7th, 2016 on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And let's get our sniping on with Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. In this one, you'll be thrown into, guess what, an open world environment with a number of unique missions to undertake. It is going to be the 
ultimate sandbox sniper experience and it's shaping up nicely just look at it guys it's releasing january 27th 2017 on ps4 xbox one and pc now let's take a moment to look at the distant future of single player games we've got cyberpunk 2077 an rpg set in a futuristic open world from the creators of a get this the witcher 3 wild hunt now cyberpunk 2077 will be larger than the witcher 3 in nearly every way too that is quite the statement i know your mind is blown by that can you even imagine It'll release sometime in 2018, that's far out there, but keep it in the back of your mind because it will be a standout game when it finally launches. It's going to be the talk of the town. Same thing can be said about Visceral Games' Star Wars Project, which will be a third-person action game and will most likely be 110% single-player. So if you were disappointed by the lack of single-player in Battlefront, this game has you apparently covered. Expect it to land sometime in fall 2017. And by the way, yes, we will be getting Star Wars Battlefront 2 in fall as well. And that one is also going to be offering some sort of single player experience as rumors are indicating. So that's good news. And don't forget that Respawn Entertainment, the guys that are bringing us Titanfall 2, they are secretly working on a Star Wars project that is also going to be apparently a third person action game it looks like from what we can see the teases here are indicating that it could be lightsaber centric and the god of war creative director is leading the project now kingdom come deliverance looks to be offering players a super realistic medieval open world experience we'll be seeing realistic combat crafting castle sieges and so much more it looks most impressive indeed but the game has no set release dates though the developers are aiming for summer 2017 but there is competition in the form of mount and blade to banner lord which is going to allow players to build entire empires and armies manage politics and economies and take the war to castles via castle sieges banner lord has been in development for years and years and there is no solid release date just yet though 2017 is looking more likely than ever Kingdom Come, Deliverance, and Bannerlord are coming to PC first, and Deliverance will be seeing a PS4 and Xbox One release eventually, though. No word if Bannerlord will embrace the PS4 and Xbox One, but they sound pretty uncertain about that one. And you cannot forget about Of Kings and Min. I actually covered this game a while ago, and you guys really, really are hyped for this one. It also includes Empire Building and managing armies and economies and that sort of thing. And it looks like it's going to be a huge single player experience exclusive to the PC, of course. Uh, I don't think they have plans to release this one on PS4 or Xbox One. I guess it depends on its success. But it will be coming out uh, Steam Early Access. It should be out sometime very, very soon on Early Access. But then again, release dates are finicky. So stay tuned here to Open World Games for updates. But if you want to do your empire managing from a distance, Civilization VI has your back. You'll be discovering how to manage territories, expand trade, and more. Civ VI will be out October 2016 on PC. And I know if you're like me, you have been dying for this one. It is Mass Effect Andromeda, and it will be embracing open worlds to explore with a sort of seamless universe that has yet to be explained. I'm curious about that one mostly right now. Can you just seamlessly go into any atmosphere of a planet like no man's sky we'll see if that ends up being true but i'm not gonna say anything about that yet the game is going to be bioware's biggest undertaking of all time and we should be hearing about it more soon and the release window is likely march 2017 though i wouldn't be surprised honestly with how quiet it has been if it was delayed so brace yourself i'll keep you guys updated here on open world games about that one It'll be out on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Now to round out the list, we have three quite unique games. Horizon Zero Dawn, a PS4 exclusive set in an apocalyptic open world with robotic dinosaurs. Guys, I'm telling you what, the PS4 and Sony, they are on fire. Now it's going to be releasing exclusively to the PS4, by the way, on February 28th, 2017. Now we can't forget our Japanese open world games that are going to be Final Fantasy 15, which looks 
quite stunning to say the least, and is embracing the open world as well. Expected to release on all major platforms November 29th, 2016. And don't forget about Zelda, which will be coming out sometime in 2017. And yep, you guessed it, it is going to be going open world as well. And it is going to be a launch title to the new Nintendo NX in March of 2017. So don't worry, there is no reason to complain about a lack of single player games. It's great to see uh, the gaming industry really embracing single player games this much, guys. It's actually quite surprising considering, you know, how Call of Duty performs and the like. But thankfully, we have really successful franchises in the form of Fallout 4, Witcher 3, Skyrim, those type of games that really do encourage developers to get back in there and bring us some really good single player games heck we're gonna buy them because they keep releasing the, these really really good single player games and it looks like this list is full of them so look forward to more news guys here on open world games about your favorite upcoming single player games subscribe if you are new would love to have you as part of our open world gaming family and i know not all of these were open world games but we cover a mix here Thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.